Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about RDP, or Remote Desktop Protocol, uh, and some of the security misconceptions around it. So RDP is the way that you would generally view a remote Windows desktop. Um, it's in Terminal Services, which is the system that's currently being used by Microsoft uh, to allow that technology, and it's also part of the Remote Assistance Suite in the consumer versions of the Windows operating system. So RDP is very attractive because it allows somebody to view information without necessarily being able to upload or download it. Uh, and so today I'm going to show some ways around that and some of the security measures that are in place to prevent that. So the first thing that I'll show you uh, is a very simple thing. Um, we're going to say I have this Hello World program in C Sharp and I want to move it there. So I'm going to select it, put it in the clipboard, and uh, try to go put it in there. But I can't because Microsoft has a group policy object that disables clipboard access to remote desktop connection. And in this particular instance, that option is enabled. Uh, so I can't actually get that in there. Right? Wrong. So with this in my clipboard, I could just use this tool here to actually inject it directly into the Windows event stack and put it onto the remote system. Now this only works with textual data, uh, but this does work with any textual data, including Unicode. So how about getting data off of the system? Well, just to show you that there are no tricks or uh, any sort of up my sleeve magic here, I'm going to just create some sort of doodle. Um, with that doodle, this incredibly messy doodle, um, I'm going to save this. And I'm going to actually transfer this to my local machine. So. What this actually does is this takes the information, the binary information for that file, and converts it to a visual stream utilizing RDP's necessity for some sort of up-to-date visual. So what I'm going to do here is synchronize and begin to stream. Now you're going to notice that looks a lot like a QR code. Uh, and that's a similar technology, but it's not actually a QR code. So now that that's all downloaded, I've kind of saved it off screen here. I can show you that this is the file that I just downloaded from the system. Now you can compare that to the actual doodle itself. They are in fact the same file. So you can actually download information out of RDP so long as you encode it into the visual buffer itself.